Hi, it's Linda here. Now, I've been uh, thinking we've had, what, Sandy Hook, the Boston bombing, all this crap with, well, let's start with Fast and Furious, Eric Holder gets out of it, the IRS, the wiretappings, Benghazi, and the AP getting wiretapped, and all kind of people getting wiretapped, and, and there's just a million things going on at once. But is this a distraction? Could something else be happening? Could our worst nightmares be coming true? Well, I found a little article today because I, I'm wondering, is this just, I mean, this guy should have already been left office along with Hillary and the whole Senate and Congress should have been gone at this point if we were real Americans standing up. Obviously, they don't listen to us. I know a lot of us write and call them and protest and do things and nothing is happening. So I found a little article I'm going to let you, I'm just going to read a little bit. You can go read it. It's pretty long. But something happened on Monday. And here we go. Okay. Pentagon unilaterally grants itself authority over civil disturbances. Now, I, in my lifetime, I'm just going to tell you, I have seen during the, during, um, when Martin Luther King, I lived in Memphis when Martin Luther King was shot. I, I saw the troops on the ground there, and I know that when the Kent State uh, happened, we had troops on the ground, and I know, you know, when um, <clears throat> what happened at Wounded Knee with Russell Means, they had brought in the troops. But really, I mean, in Boston, they brought in the troops. Now... Um, what has happened is on Monday, a new dynamic was introduced into the militarization of the domestic law enforcement by making a few subtle changes to a regulation in the U.S. Code titled De Defense Support of Civilian Law Enforcement Agencies. The military has quietly, did you get this? The military has quietly granted itself the ability to police the streets without obtaining prior local or state consent, you pending a president that has been in place for more than two centuries. <clears throat> the most objectionable aspect of the regulatory change is the inclusion of a vague language that permits military intervention in the event of civil dis disturbances, according to the rule. Federal military commanders have the authority in extraordinary emergency circumstances where prior authorization by the president is impossible because they can't find a phone or something, and duty-constituted local authorities are unable to control the situation to engage temporarily in activities that are necessary to quill large-scale, unexpected civil disturbances. Whoa. If you don't realize how big a deal that is, we have, um, that just took your uh, Posse Comitatus Act away. There's a lot of things it took away, and this article is very long. I'm going to let, let you read it. Um, I will leave the link, but I sometimes, you know, when there's so much being bombarded, you have to kind of look and say, while they're distracting us, what are they really doing? Because I've been going to WhiteHouse.gov every day seeing, has there been an executive order sign? What's going on? Um, so while all this stuff has been going on, we really did become a police state. I'm going to leave a few links, you guys. Uh, peace. Have a good day. Read this article. It's pretty good. And, um, hey, you know, we if we unite, they they can't take us over. We can stand together and unite. We're going to have to lay aside some differences to do this too. But we need to do this for humanity's sake. And peace and love to everybody. Linda's out.